The aircraft now are airborne as they depart out to the right hand side. You can see the Reds 4 and 5 have now joined onto Reds 1, 2 and 3. And they're just forming up now into Big 5, whilst Jippo at the back, Reds 6 to 9, slide into position making the Big 5 into Diamond 9. The aircraft will transition through two more formations before they reach the formation we start the show with. The first one is Nine Arrow, and that allows all the pilots to set up their aircraft in terms of trim, ready for the display. From Nine Arrow then, they'll slide into Amateur Big Nine. Amateur Big Nine is a V-shaped formation, and it's called an Amateur Formation because Red 6 and 7 Not, sit one we'll position closer to so, the leader. Ladies and gentlemen, here they are at Lucas, the 2010 Red Arrows. So that's the voice of Red One. The aircraft at the front there, squadron leader Ben Murphy, who we know on the team as Baz. Baz is a former Harrier GR7 pilot, never flew the GR9 actually, but he did serve on 1, 4 and 20 squadrons. And he's also been a weapons instructor on the Harrier fleet, one of the most demanding front roll jobs for a pilot. Like all of the Royal Air Force's Harrier pilots, he's seen several operational tours in Afghanistan, where of course the main job is to provide close air support to the young men and women of the British forces and our coalition allies out there, who, as you know, work in some extremely trying circumstances. Now they turn in towards us on the display line here in nine arrows, so nine red arrows, in the form of one large red arrow. Oh my god, that's all like it's in like white smoke. Watch now as the smoke goes off. Reds 8 and 9 out there on the wingtips. Barrel roll back to the rear of the formation to pick up Fred formation. Now Red 1, Baz is a keen kite surfer and runner. And he's also got the team's best fancy dress costume, which is a rather fetching Barbie outfit. We've had to see him wear this Barbie Mike outfit now three times already this year. And crank forward me. the tips of this arrow shape. It's a difficult formation, this because of its width, so out on the wingtips are the most challenging positions. And the lowest man, as we see them, on the left wingtip of Cranked Arrow is Red 9, Flight Lieutenant Simon Ray, another one of the team's Harrier pilots. And we call him Kermit. Now, he's probably called Kermit because he sounds a bit like Kermit the Frog on the radio, but that's possibly because he's from New Zealand originally, and he flew with the Royal New Zealand Air Force flying the A4 Skyhawk before joining the Royal Air Force in 2002 and going on to serve on the Harrier fleet. Once again, another man with several operational tours under his belt, all in Afghanistan. And at the moment, Kermit's making a rather nice job of cranked arrow.
this is delta formation. As the smoke okay. comes on, you'll see the shape of the delta very nicely as the pilots tighten up now to 3, perhaps 4G here. Now the pilots are about to start a right-hand turn as they prepare to take the shape of one of our most famous formations. You're about to see Diamond Formation, perhaps the one we're best known for, and one of our favourite formation shapes. And of course this is the one we scrutinise in our debriefs the most because this is the one that needs to be perfect. Now 2010 is a very special year for the Red Arrows because this year on the team we have the first ever female Red Arrow pilot. That normally gets a cheer from the girls in the audience. So if you want to cheer, Kirsty Moore. She's Red 3 this year and sits just on the leader's left hand side. Kirsty was born at RAF Nocton Hall in Lincolnshire and is the daughter of a former Tornado GR1 navigator who saw operational service in the first Gulf War in 1990-91. It was her father that inspired Kirsty to join the Royal Air Force to be a pilot while he was serving on 27 Squadron at RAF Marham. And she spent her school summer holidays in the crew room there, providing advice to the crews who were planning their missions during training there. This is the Jippo Pass. So it's eight and nine depart, we're left with synchro That's on the, the right turn and let's see how they do. So a synchro slingshot out to the front of us here, they're probably flying five or six G in that manoeuvre. And I'll get you to turn your eyes out to the left hand side now to pick up Red 8, squadron leader Graham Duff, known to us as Duffy. Another one of the team's former Jaguar GR3 pilots, he's looking to meet up with Enid who are coming in from the right hand side. This is called the Goose. <laughs> So Enid have gone very patriotic with us with some lovely red, white and blue smoke. And I remind you that was Duffy, Duffy who went through the middle of the formation. As I said, a former Jaguar Thanks. GR3 pilot, now out of service with the one. Cross in the middle. They'll be 100 feet apart as they do so. That's 30 metres or so. There's little room for error. These are called double rolls. 